Well, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, I'm doing an unhaul. It's that time of year where everyone is so focused on, you know, buying gifts for each other for different events, different holidays. I celebrate Christmas, so that is always my kind of mental go-to. But there are other holidays around this time of year that focus on giving as well. Uh, so I thought, you know, my bookshelves are a little cramped. Uh, I, could, I could use some more space, and I recently read and acquired some books that I don't want to keep on my shelf. So, it's time for a book unhaul. Now, what I do with my books is there is, I try to sell them to bookstores first. So there is a bookstore back home, um, and that's the other thing, is I'll be going back home so I can actually, like, do this. <laughs> um, there is a local bookstore back home that will buy books from you, you kind of drop them off and they evaluate whether or not they already have the book or if they can take it, um, and then they can either give a certain percentage in cash or a slightly higher percentage in store credit. Um, and so what I always like to do is that if the store credit is enough to allow me to buy a book for like using it, then I will. Otherwise, I will always take the cash, but I do this so that I can fuel my book buying habit. Um, and especially because I have this new $20 limit per month any extra cash I can get to spare to increase that limit, I will, <laughs> I will definitely try and do. Uh, but for any books that I am unable to sell to this local bookstore, I'm gonna try and see if I can't sell them somewhere else, like online, like on Facebook or something. And then if that doesn't happen for one reason or another, I will probably put them in little libraries around the community. So the first book that I am going to unhaul is Hound of God by Steve McElstrom. This book, fun fact, is actually signed by the author and I was really excited about it, but I DNF'd this book. I, I hated it. I couldn't get more than 50 pages. Uh, it was causing me actual anger and upset and then I even went to read the ending to see if the ending would uh, be better if I actually wanted to get to it and no. I, I hated it. So I will be unhauling this book <laughs> because I don't want to keep DNFs on my shelf. Like I just don't. So And then I'm going to be getting rid of Deal with the Devil by Kit Raka. This was a two star read for me but it's the beginning of a series and I don't want to keep books from a series that I'm not going to finish reading or finish buying. So. To have this on my shelf makes no sense. And then the next book that I'll be getting rid of is The Mermaid by Christina Henry. I don't remember, I think this was a two star book. I just, I wasn't super satisfied with this book. It's not one that I think I want to keep on my shelf. Like, I think it was pretty, I think other people would definitely read it and like it, but it just, it wasn't there for me and I just don't need it on my shelf. So I will be saying goodbye to this one. Next up, um, so I have, I had four copies of this book. I have one copy that is uncorrected and so I'm going to keep that one because I don't think it's fair to try and sell that or give it to someone when there are uncorrected passages and plot holes and whatnot. So I'm just going to keep it. And then I had two paperback versions and a hardcover. I'm going to keep the hardcover. I sent the paperback version of this to someone who I thought w might like it and I think it got lost in the mail which is very sad um, but yeah I just I don't need three copies of this on my shelf so I will be giving this one to my local bookstore to see if someone else will buy it and like it but I still have a copy of it so it's fine and then next up I'll be getting rid of the sergeant's daughter this is a memoir and it's by Teresa Shelton I'm just never gonna read it. I know that. Uh, it was randomly given to me and I don't like nonfiction. I don't like memoirs. 
And then on top of that, the subject matter in this book is not something I think I could, it's not something I'm interested in reading and not something I could get through. So I'm not, if I'm not going to read it, I'm not going to keep it. Moving on, I have The Philosopher's Flight and this is by Tom Miller. This is a novel, half science, half magic, entirely fantastic, I don't know. So the premise of this one, I, there's a part of me that wants to keep it and try it because it's historical fiction. I think it's during a world war. I don't know if it's during a real one or a fake one. But it's the idea that men and women have magic and some magic comes easier to some women and some comes easier to men, I think. But this man wants to learn to fly, which is something that traditionally women do. So he's like the first man to go to an all-women college and the first man to learn to like fly and it's just I don't know there's something about this that doesn't interest me but also I just don't like so I think if I read this it'll probably be an audiobook but it's not something like I'm not saying I won't read it but I'm saying I won't keep it on my shelf I won't read this physical copy like I said I'd probably I'd rather listen to it as an audiobook or just not read it at all like it's just not something I'm personally interested in so Finally, I have two more books that I'm getting rid of, but it's because I'm replacing them. So I have Star Daughter by Shveta Thakrar and A Song of Rice and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. I loved both of these books. I read these both about a year ago and I loved them. However, both of these copies have unfinished covers and both of these copies are pretty beat up. I got these as not quite as a gift, but someone had gotten them as arcs and then given them to me to read. And I, like I said, I love these books. I want to buy the second book in this series. I just want new copies of them. One was with finished covers, without all these stickers on the front. Um, yeah, so I will be getting rid of these, but I will be replacing them with brand new copies. So I don't know if I'll be getting rid of these immediately right away. I'm gonna get rid of them as soon as I buy their replacements so that I never have to go without them on my shelf because I don't want to forget about it. But I'm including them in this haul because I'm hoping to buy their replacements soon. So those are all the books that I will be unhauling right in, in, in December um, when we, we go back home. I am pre-filming a bunch of videos so that I don't have to worry too much about filming at home. Uh, but I'll be going home in the middle of December, so these will be unhauled in just a couple weeks. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Otherwise, comment down below if you have read any of these, if I should give them a chance. Um, but otherwise, yeah, subscribe. I will be posting four videos every week in December. So that's a lot of really exciting content that I'm really excited to make for you guys. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when I post those videos. Otherwise, I do post videos normally twice a week on Sundays and Wednesdays. And I also have a bunch of bookish social media down in my description. So feel free to follow me on there. And I would love to chat with you guys and keep up with what you're reading and you can keep up with what I'm reading. But otherwise, I will see you all in the next video, but until then, I wish you happy reading!